Well, Russ, good to catch up. Uh, obviously, it's been um, a busy summer, it always is, but you had got the bulk of your squad kind of signed, sealed, delivered beforehand, so maybe not as busy as some other summers. Yeah, yeah, we, um, we, we, we kept who we wanted to keep. Um, really pleased with that because I think it's always difficult when you go into the league above, especially being national, it's not regional. A lot of the lads had to, you know, think about the process, especially the older players. Um, but they've all jumped on board and, and, and we're ready to hit the, the, hit the ground running. Yeah, that's sometimes overlooked, isn't it? Obviously moving to a national league now, obviously much more travelling, much more demand, really. Yeah, of course it is. And yeah, listen, some of these players have, have played the level before, if not higher. Um, but they come to Kidderminster when we're in the National North, so whether we've gone up or not, and they want to be part of the... Uh, of the journey, it's still down to them and the families at the end of the day. So, um, listen, I don't think the uh, it took too much time to, to make a decision, but um, bar a couple, you know, we're, we're, we're relatively happy. And even more important, you keep that core together, you've got the momentum, the, the winning spirit, if you like, from last season. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, excellent last two months of the season and got that winning mentality which we brought into training in the last couple of weeks. and. Uh, really looking forward to the season. I think with the fixtures coming out yesterday, it's, it's made it even more real now. Tell us about your additions. There have been a few, obviously. Yeah, just well, four lads that we've we signed, and they were all one of our top targets. Uh, I'll start with Jerry, a player we were really interested in January. Tried to get him in on loan from Scunthorpe at the time. Um, he moved to Eastley to stay in the league, and he's someone I've, admi I've admired for a long time, really. Uh, yes, he's had a lot of clubs. He's got some great attributes, and if we can get the best out of him, we've got a real player on our hands. Um, Kieran Phillips, Gloucester. Um, know a lot about Kieran, watched him many times last year. Plays on the shoulder, quick, young, um, scored plenty of goals, as did Jack Lambert at Darlington. Um, always impressed when we played them. 17 goals from the right, left side last year. Um, and we lacked goals last season, so hopefully he can bring, bring that to the party. And uh, Oxlade Chamberlain. Um, you know, probably should have got promoted. It was in their hands at the, at the time, uh, two months before, and give Fold a real uh, good run for the money, and, and always had good games against us, and very versatile in position. So, um, as you can tell, they're all under 25, and they're young, they're energetic, and they want to prove themselves at the level. Are there likely to be any more additions? Um, we've got our eyes on a, on a few. We've got what, one in training at the moment. Um, I think there'll be room for some, yeah, um, but we've got a competitive squad now. Um, I'm not one for saying, you know, I want two players for each position, I just want good players at the end of the day. And um, we're going into a competitive league now where everyone bar a couple are full time, so that excuse goes out the window and we've got to be robust enough to get through those 46 games plus the Cubs. So you've got one or two part time, maybe? Uh, no, we haven't, but I mean, oh, sorry, the, I mean, league, the yeah, league's sorry. full time. Um, so we've got our eyes on a few just to make us stronger. Um, but only if they're going to make us better. Um, so uh, we'll see over the next couple of pre-season games, they're in to play a couple of minutes and um, see where we go. Yeah, that's the beauty of pre-season. You can take a look at one or two if you have to. Yeah, we, we could take advantage of it really. Um, players who haven't got clubs, players who want to tick over and players who need to prove themselves. So um, we've got a couple, um, a couple of those to, to blend in with what we've got. Um, but it's managing the pre-season. Uh, you know, I really enjoy pre-season because you can manage the minutes and you can look after the lads a lot more. Um, but they've all come back in great shape, so we're, you know the balls are out already. Yeah, they do now, don't they? They do come back generally. I mean, go back, I don't know, 15, 20 years, the, the first few days, just be pounding up hills to try and get a bit of summer weight off. It's, it's certainly changed, and I think because that season finished so late as well, the, the lads haven't had time to, to put the weight on, so you know they've all had the holiday, they've recharged, and they've come back really fit. So um, I'm delighted it's now managing them now and, and not overdoing it. And, and being as fresh as we can for the 5th of August. In terms of your pre-season games, I suppose it's important to get the balance right in terms of fixtures, really? Uh, yeah, th th there's lots of factors in pre-season. Um, local games, the levels, and also connections, partnerships and sponsorships. You know, it all, you all have to, you have to please everyone when it comes to those games, and you have to think about that side as well. So um, I'm happy with what we've got this year. This was planned while we were a National North team. Um, but I think the, the mix is good. I think the Liverpool game at home, albeit against a young team, against a very fit, quick young team, you can get the run around and you can get your fitness in. And then Northampton have got promoted, that'd be a bit more real. Telford are going to have a right go next year at step three. So, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's a nice mix. Um, I don't think there's no wrong or rights in pre season, to be honest. And the Liverpool game keeps that Liverpool connection going, does it? You've got a couple of loan players from there. It's yeah, really good. And they have, they've asked us this year, which is, which is great, and just shows you, you know, uh, the link's really strong. 
and um, listen, I don't care if they bring the under 16s or the first team, it's, it's one of those, it's Liverpool and we'll look after them like, like they've done with us. You mentioned the fixtures are out and the good news is you start at Agra. Yeah, delighted. My first season in charge where we were at home um, on the opening day, so looking forward to a really good bumper crowd against the top team, a team who have been at the top end playoffs last year. Uh, no couple of the players too, so um, I think it's a, it's a great start. Many people will say you probably won't be able to tell the answer to this question until after, I don't know, 10 or a dozen games or so, but how much of a step up do you think it is from the North to the National League? Well, I think it's a big step up, um, but you know, I look at six of the fixtures already that we've played in the last two or three years, your Folds, your Yorkshire Gateshead's, and they've all seemed to you know, um, have been competitive, so we've got to try and be that, but I want to be better as well. So, um, you know, the two monster teams have been promoted last year, your Notts County and your Wrexham, but you look at the, the top end and you see Oldham, Chesterfield and your Barnets and, and, and others um, who have got to be really competitive. So. We've got to hit the ground running, like I said, winning momentum and hopefully we can take that into the first month. Yeah, you look at it now and it's, it's virtually Division 5, isn't it? There's so many former football league clubs in there. Yeah, and all full time and some good budgets out there and really competitive. And we want to be one of those. Um, you know, we probably did it the way, the harder way last year of getting promoted, but at the end of the day, the end result was we got promoted. So, um, great testament to everyone at the club. We got the job done and now we can enjoy uh, this new part of the journey. The fixtures ultimately, you play more at home, you play more away, doesn't really make that much difference. I suppose the one that stood out was uh, slightly uh, random was the Christmas games, really, Boreham Wood. Hmm. Yeah, well, I've had a few um, managers and coaches text me over the last day saying uh, the fixtures are quite random this year, especially some of the Tuesday nights as well, not just for us, but for everyone. Um, but what, what, what's me to say, do you know what I mean? Uh, Boreham Wood on, on Boxing Day is uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a weird one, but. Um, they will have to come to us a few days later, so I suppose it it, uh, it swings in roundabouts. It's um, but like I said, I'm just looking forward to playing all these teams. I've seen the fixture list now, and um, you know the likes of Oldham and yourself ends, and it's great. And I'm glad we're we're going up against these teams.